this is Umar Ahmed for AFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm with HHR Vion, live on Sky Sports this Saturday. Does that sound good? Oh, mate, Triple H. <laughs> Triple H, come on, Umar. <laughs> All the RVL, mate. It's been a long time since I've heard that. So, mate, I can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, like you said, you just see my presser. Everything I said there, I meant. I meant it. I want to get violent. I've seen my opponent. No disrespect. I want to. I'm going to box it up. If I say I'm going to take his head off, Mark will have a go at me. But I'm going to go out, showcase my boxing skills, and then stick it on him. Yeah. Put it on him. Hands flying this Saturday night. 100%. I mean, that's that's the game. I mean, when you're looking at flyaways now, if you're, we're not knocking each other out, so you've got to be excited, whether that's with your style, your sort of, your personality, but also we throw, we've got to throw loads of punches. We've got to throw loads of punches. People want to see two midgets going at it, don't they? So <laughs> it's a laugh. When you look at Chocolatito and Estrada, non-stop, and that's one of, it was massive, wasn't it? Everyone loved it. That's what it's got to be like. Mm. I'm not comparing myself to them just yet, I'm just saying that that's the way forward for flyaways. If we want to break the blight, break the mould, that's how it's got to be. Is it a case of making up for lost time, Harvey? 100%. Um, like I said, I'm, only, I'm still young, 25, but flyweights, at, lighter weights tend to have a bit of a later, uh, earlier prime, don't we? And I feel like I'm coming into mine, I'm having to make weight for the first time ever. So now I'm not giving away that advantage where I'm walking around at seven and a half stone and end up weighing in at eight. So like I'm coming down from eights, eight nines, eight eights. So now I'm strong, now I can whack. Like when I say whack, not a concussive punch, I never will be, but get them on the end of that, sting them, sting them, sting them, soften them up, soften them up, break them down and finish them off. And I think that's how my career is going to start to go as we go on. Of course, not looking past this Saturday night, you've got a job to do, yeah. it's been a while since you're back in the ring. So you've got to be fully focused on Saturday night. But what is a short term plan for you? Short term plan, British title. Been asked that a couple of times today. Um, Tommy Frank just won it, so congratulations to him. But uh, I'll be honest, that fight was made last year. For the, it was for the British, then it got changed for the IBF European. But the fight, that makes sense, I think. I've now got the platform, he's got the belt. Why not? Why not? Um, he hasn't boxed anyone decent, in my opinion. Obviously, he could, he could argue the same against me, maybe. But, I've, I've, but it's one of them where two domestic fighters, he's lost his own now, so he should be a little bit less scared to, to jump in. Not scared, sorry, that's the wrong word. I really, I like Tommy Frank, he's a nice geezer. But I think it, that O holds a lot of people back. My O, I'll be honest, I've been out for two years now. I'm gonna go in and just showcase what I'm about. I'll defend it with my life. I'll defend that O with my life, but I'm going out and I want to cause a statement. And I'm, I'm, I'm not scared to get in there. I'm not worried. Well, well obviously it's a, a great opportunity this Saturday Night Live on Sky Sports through Wasserman to make that statement and then gear towards that, that fight with Tommy and get that British title fight on. Brilliant. Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds be, like a plan. <laughs> sounds like a plan to me. I'll be best of luck this Saturday night and obviously we'll speak after the fight, all right? Omar, thank you very much, mate.